Look like every time I have sex, you look like I just have kids. We want to welcome you guys to this brand new segment that we have that we call Pillar Talk. Come and in our bed. <laughs> <laughs> so. All these sessions will be taking place around about eight or bed. in our bed. So yeah. So welcome <laughs> to Pillar Talk. We've been going through our, our, okay. So one of our most famous, our most viewed videos is story time. How we met. So we can't give you guys a, a next story time without giving you a story time of how... What was it said? When you've just found out you got pregnant or her first pregnancy, was it? That was ages ago. <laughs> so yeah. So this story time in Pillar Talk is called I found out I was pregnant. When she found out she was pregnant with baby number one. And I got three. So I brought my champagne because I know it's going 60. to be a very interesting story. So you guys can grab one in one grab. Um crazy like this has been in the fridge for almost a full year clicker champion no it's not that i was looking at it so yeah so welcome back to story times no so welcome back no so welcome to pillar talk <laughs> so while i pour my i don't know how if i can finish this bottle by the time the video finish. Let me see if I switch in my drink. Clink, 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 clink. <sighs> Feel like the old days. Okay. So, I think you should start the story since you were the one that was impregnated. Oh, why? You want to keep it? Ooh. I guess good. I'll keep my clicker. So, okay. Tell us. Oh. oh. Tell us before, tell us a story from before you, I found out. Because obviously you found out before me find out. Because <laughs> it's your body. Let us know how that. Okay, so once upon a time, there was a girl. Anyway, so the, the, real, the real thing really gets really started well, in Bahamas. Um, yeah, in Bahamas. I guess that's where it really started. You have to set them back to a, to a year. Okay, <clears throat> all right. We ride. So this was what 2019? 2019 of August where we went on my birthday vacation like we usually do. And so <laughs> No no no. I'm just drinking. I'm not drinking because of what oh you say I'm not drinking. Mm-hmm. So we went on the birthday vacation, like we usually do. And that was August 2019, right? Somehow I came back, proposed to, and everything. <clears throat> so in the plans, in the works, I was already going to be moving to Florida, right? Yes, I was already, we were already talking about me um, migrating to the U.S. Backstory, because I, I was already living in the U.S. for training, so. And that was supposed yeah. to happen in September, right? So I already started making all of my plans. I remember the story, though. I've already started making my plans for, you know, you know whether it's um, telling my job that, you know, I'm leaving in two weeks or whatever the case is and telling my friends that, you know, I'm about to dip out of this Jamaica life and we're about to move to US and a couple of weeks no I think it was like the week off that I was supposed to be moving and I have my bags packed with all my hot girl stuff my you know my heels my shot up shorts and my jeans them and you know no sneakers in sight bare belly skin and bare swimsuits and then I don't even know what prompts me to to figure out that you know I must take a test or oh I might can be pregnant or whatever the case was, but I know I did that and I think the whole 
suitcase had to start to open because <laughs> there was when I thought it through, I was like, okay. Okay, peeps. If I'm this pregnant, is nothing in this suitcase can be going. This like, it doesn't make sense. I'm hearing about this story also from this point of view. I just hear about it from the test. So, <laughs> we both are learning something oh, new. Okay, let's go into depth. I remember, because you were staying with, you think you were staying with me, right? I think when because you were, you were now officially moved from Jamaica to the US. And I think you were staying with me. I think we went to some carnival expo. Yeah, I can't remember. Right, it's 2019, we're in 2024. I think we went to some carnival expo. And I think I remember um, probably taking that test before or something like that. No, no, no. I was still living up by something there. Long when Mountain. my mom was there, I was still living up by like, Long Mountain. Then you came to visit, you came, came by my house. Yeah. Right. And I think I remember telling us, you know, I think, I'm not 100% sure, I don't really know. But, you know, it's a possibility. And um, I remember you getting the test for me. And then I remember doing the test. And then I came out and I was just like, you know, I'm playing it cool. And he was like, are you pregnant? And I was like, yeah. He's like, you're pregnant. I, to God, I, don't remember, I don't remember any of this. Like, I don't remember. Yeah, well, it was a long time ago. We should have done this story time a, a, a few years back. But, yeah, um, I remember we keeping it kind of shh. Um, we kind of told like our immediate friends that, you know, this, you can expect this in the coming <laughs> months. No, what was, what, what, okay, so. But I think that, I think that's how it goes. I think even when we did the first test, I don't think we, like, we actually processed what was about to happen. So I think I was just like, yo, let's get another test. All I know <laughs> that, I, yo, I swear to God, I, I'm trying to pull my memory. Probably if I take two more, like. Drink, I think we went me. to I think we went to some carnival expo by Pegasus or something like that, and then after that I think you were probably dropping me home, and then I told you that before I go home we should just buy a test, and then we bought the test and I think I remember clearly we bought the test at, you remember that pharmacy of Hope Road where Doctor Meek's office used to be the, the orthodontist. There's a pharmacy there. Yeah, on the right hand side, like you're going. Yo, whoa. It's so Dr. Meese's office used to be in the back. I don't know if he's still at that office, but it used to be in the back, and then near CB used to be like two little. Sure to God, there was remember. a pharmacy on the right hand side, and I think that's where I bought it, to be honest with you. Probably a year longer, right? Because I don't remember. You I, said in the car, and I, I went inside to buy it. So, the story about telling our friends, um, the best part about all of that is that we, like, we were fully transitioning to the states. Yeah. So people would even know what was happening, and unless they're in a circle. Yeah. So we never tell them about the people, um, and then we never like we never told our parents because we had like a whole idea of surprising that yeah. those people. But we told like our immediate friends, like nobody too wild. Yeah, and we cut them finger and tell them to swear and top swear and blood. <laughs> like <we're> bl <laughs> because just... another thing too is even I think we had. You had proposed in August, and we never told anybody about that either. Yeah. So, come remember I left in September. I think everything was announced while, when we moved to the, when, yeah, when so Lexi moved. Yeah, a lot of people just thought that, oh, she get pregnant and she moving out. When but Lexi really moved to the States. That. But the best part for us is that we could hide so much stuff because, you know, we're not Even everybody in. was like, oh my God, I knew. I'm just like, we were not. We could hide so much stuff because we're not in the public eye. Right. Because we're out of the country. Right. Um... The only thing that I think that made me get catched more was I think people were saying that I wasn't posting, which was true because now I was getting more put now away in my face and I, my but face it wasn't really take too long because we post in December, yeah. we post in November, October, November. I think. No, I think it was just December. It's I don't remember. December, can we post? Um, no, we post remember. before that because we were saying coming soon, and then the COVID came and then nothing less happened. So we post way before December. Like, you'll big up all the COVID babies. Oh, my God. But, yeah. Um, I don't know if Lexi wants to go into a backstory about pregnancy one. Um, and I, I tell can her, remember, I can And try. I tell her to share this story. Why? Because a lot of people face this. And we had, we had, we had how, or fear ch ch um, scares of it. It's not my story to tell, but I know we spoke about it to just to say it, to encourage other females or other couples to just hold the faith and 
God will provide. And so yeah. Ready for that? Let's go. Ready for that? Come, I'm right here. Let's go. Okay, I guess. <clears throat> um, so apart from like my closer friends, I guess I share I share everything with my closer friends. I'll never I've never come out in public and be like, oh X and Y and Z or this and this, but um a lot of women have PCOS and if you don't know what that is, that's polyvarian. How you go? Poly. Uh, um, uh, let, How you go again? Uh, um, I'll lock it up for you, but I'm not going to pronounce it. Polyvarian cystic. Something. What name? P what? Poly. P what a PCOS. acronym? PCOS. Polycystic. How you go again? Polycystic ovarian syndrome. Okay, right. So I found out I had PCOS back in like what, 2017? And back then, I didn't know much about it. And when I Googled what it was when I was diagnosed with this, I thought, boy, you know, like, oh my gosh, never heard of this before. Oh, I can't have kids. Wow, you're going to have a hard time having kids or whatever. So take me off with a cross. I thought I could not have kids. It's something that I used to always say. I don't think I can have kids based on what it says based on how based on the limited information that you could research at the time at the time and based and on i didn't even know that the other scared, women <laughs> the scares that doctors put put into I you i didn't even know that a lot of other women and, were going yeah. through this until like recent times now when you hear like almost everybody apparently has pcos now but um at the time i didn't hear much about it i remember even sharing it with my mom and she was like what <laughs> but um Yes, when I found out that I had that, I was just like, okay, well, based on what it says, you're going to have a harder time having um, kids or you just have to do a lot more than the average woman who just have sex and, you know, have babies. Um, some of the symptoms of PCOS that were very concerning to me was just the fact that, you know, you have irregular peers, which, of course, I always had from, I know myself. So I was like, okay, cool. And then um, there is some other symptoms like weight gain. Um, I never had that issue. I've always was a smaller person. And then because I used to go to the gym often, I guess weight gain was never one of the symptoms for me. Um, there's other symptoms like like growing of hair on yeah. places that you don't want it to be. Or um, I think spots. I don't remember. At me, I don't remember. But there's a lot of stuff that... Um, you can get from it. I didn't really have any symptoms. I just know that I went to the gyno one day and he told me that I had a cyst on one of my ovaries. And Big up Dr. Abraham. What's his name? Yeah, Dr. Dr. Abraham. Abraham. Right. So. As many sons, as many sons that father. Can't call him money man not sing that song. Okay. Glad <laughs> you know your Bible. But anyway, so yeah. So I don't know. It was kind of traumatic to hear that news at one point, but now in my big age with all the information that I know about it and hearing so many other women that have this symptom and have going through it, I'm always here like, you know, I have three kids and I once thought, you know, this was going to be a, such a hard journey for me when lo and behold, it actually did not turn out that way. It looked like every time I have sex, it looked like I just have kids. So to the person out there... <laughs> Yo, should I give her a <laughs> So the person out there <laughs> that um that thing, oh, they have PCOS and that they're gonna be struggling and they won't be able to have kids or you know it's gonna be harder for you, not necessarily. Just have faith, go on vacation, <laughs> and you'll be good. <laughs> no. But um you just never know, right? Everybody's body is different. And you know, one thing I did not do which I don't know if other people are doing. So when you have PCOS and if you're not trying to get pregnant, they give you this pill. But all right, I'm a very, I don't like taking pills, right? No matter what the pill is for, I don't like taking pills. If it's to get better, I don't like taking pills. So you can give me the syrup to drink, I will take that, but I hate taking pills, right? So in my mind, when I receive the pills, it was a birth control pill. But when I was trying to put two and two together, even though I didn't want kids at the time, or 
as in like when I, when I say like that, I, I wasn't ready to have kids at that time because I think I was like, what, 21, 22, whatever the age, I wasn't ready for that yet, right? So I was thinking to myself, why are taking pills for this sort of symptom when it's already a so-called thing that already makes it hard for me to have kids? Mm-hmm. I, don't know, I don't know. It so you basically were saying... Why take medications right. for something that you know you think you have like yeah, that, just, that is already hard to do. So you just say that, like it's not natural to just say oh yeah PCOS and then you can just pop up kids. So I just like yeah why am I taking a birth control for not having kids? Like it was just so confusing to me. So I just were thinking yeah I'm not gonna take that. So I just left it and I uh, didn't bother to take that birth control method at all. But everybody is different, you know. So I wouldn't say it to anybody else, oh, don't take it like me. But it was just my mind playing a lot of, like, you know, my mind was just talking to me. And it was just like, yo, no, it's already hard for you to have kids. Why are you going to take a birth control to make you not have kids at the moment? And I just basically stayed on my P's and Q's at that time to not have kids at, you know, the young age. Yeah. So, guys, (laughs) basically... Open her doors, let you in her bed. So, we have to, all, all good things have to come to a close for now. So, yeah, so that's, that's a story time. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, for, for all the females out there who um, have PCOS. That's what a, is it? I don't remember the name. You know what, Eva? It's called polycystic ovarian, polycystic syndrome. ovary syndrome. I feel like the reason why I don't even remember the name no is because, like, to me, I just feel like, oh, it's just another word. Because back so, then, I really believed in what the word meant. So, um, so yeah, that's but, the story time of how we host baby number one, and uh, not really. He didn't really go into that. We're going to tell him how found... So the story time was about how you... When found out you were pregnant. Whatever the title will be. I'm never sure. But we're not giving... We're not going to bore them in a long video. Some of them probably are leave already. Like some of y'all leave the video already. And who's who there? Thank you for being here. But that's it for Pillar Talk. Let us know in the comments what you want, guys wanted to talk about next. I feel like I own a Pillar Talk. You just listen to the pillars. No, no wrong. So yeah, somebody has to be the, the listener. In the talk, on the pillars. Let so me go back for my tea. Yeah. For now, subscribe, like, share, comment, and see you in the next video, and definitely see you in the next pillar talk. So, yeah, go on a bed. <sighs> subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Oh,